What's up sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel. We continue here with my 2024 college football schedule preview and projected record series. The Virginia Cavaliers are up next and before we preview their schedule for 2024 and give them an early projected record based on how tough their schedule is, let's take a look back at what Virginia did in 2023. Here are my projections and predictions last year for Virginia. My projection, of course, had them at 4-8, and eight, and then my prediction for them was 2-10, and 10, so I was not very high on Virginia, of course, last year like a lot of other people were. And it was a rough season for Virginia, just going 3-9 and nine in 2023, so it didn't really shock me that the, you know they had a really losing record last year, and a lot of people were not really high on Virginia, to be honest. So, again, just going 3-9 and nine in 2023. This was the schedule from last year for Virginia. Virginia. You look at who they played in the non-conference. They did play Tennessee, of course, in Nashville, James Madison in Maryland, and also William and Mary Tribe. That was the only easy non-conference game on this schedule. So again, three tough games in the non-conference. They ended up losing three out of their uh, four non-conference games. And then you look at the losses coming in the conference last year. Lost to NC State, Boston College, Miami, Georgia Tech, Louisville, and Virginia Tech here as well. So they end up winning a couple games, though, in the AC CC, beat North Carolina on the road. That was a big one there. And then, of course, Duke here at home. So they ended up winning a couple games in the ACC. So uh, that was the good news there. But they still had a really rough season. And I don't really think it was just about the schedule in the conference. It was more about the non-conference schedule than the ACC schedule. So let's get right into it here with 2024. I should say let's let now look ahead to 2024. Here is the schedule for Virginia. And before we go game by game, Let's take a look at who Virginia will play in the non-conference for this upcoming season. So you look at their non-conference schedule. They will play Richmond, Maryland, at Coastal Carolina, and then on the road at Notre Dame here as well. So they do play Maryland again. This time it will be a home game here for Virginia. Last year they played them in week number three on the road, and they will play them here at home again in week number three. And then Coastal Carolina, that's a pretty good, respectable group of five team. It is on the road, so that won't be an easy game there for Virginia. Virginia, and then obviously having to play Notre Dame on the road. That is definitely going to be a very tough game there for Virginia. And then Richmond, uh, pretty much the only easy non-conference game here for Virginia. So that's your non-conference schedule for 2024. Another tough one. And let's go back to the schedule now here for the upcoming season. So they will start things off, of course, with Richmond here on August 31st. And then after that, they'll open up conference play here in week number two on the road at Wake Forest on September the 7th. And then they'll come back at home to play Maryland on September the 14th. Then on the road at Coastal Carolina here on September the 21st. And then they get a bye week here in the last weekend of the month of September. And then going into the month of October, they play Boston College at home here on October the 5th. Then they'll play Lowe at home here as well on October the 12th. And then it will be on the road here at Clemson on October the 19th. Then it will be North Carolina at home as well here on October the 26th. And then their second bye week comes here in the uh, first weekend of the month of November, I should say. And then in the month of November, they go on the road to play Pittsburgh here on November 9th. And then they go on the road to play Notre Dame on November 16th. So they got back-to-back -back road games there with Pittsburgh and Notre Dame. And then it's at home here for SMU on November 23rd. Then they'll close things out, of course, with Virginia Tech here on the road on November 30th. So that is the schedule for Virginia for 2024. And every year, Virginia does have a pretty tough schedule. They do play, obviously, in the ACC but still either way it's a very tough schedule for them and like I said I don't really think it's really more about the conference schedule it's really more about the non-conference schedule they do have a tough non-conference schedule with Maryland and Notre Dame both on there and then Coastal Carolina that won't be an easy game there out of the group of five so yeah this is another tough schedule here for Virginia they do have to play Louisville and North Carolina but the good news is they both get those games at home and then you got to play Clemson here on the road in Death Valley that'll be a very tricky one there for Virginia Virginia. So let's now get to the projection here for the Cavaliers. This is the scale I use here for my projections. If it's a 1% game in the red, that percentage, of course, is going to count as an automatic loss. And then your 20% games here in the orange will be games where Virginia will be about a double digit underdog in. And then, of course, 40% games here in the yellow will be games where Virginia will be a clear underdog in by about a touchdown. And then, of course, 50 50 games on here will stay in the white. Games I think can go either way. And then your 60% games here in the purple are going to 
going to be games where Virginia will be favored by about a touchdown. And then your 80% games here in the blue are going to be games where Virginia will be favored by double digits. And then your 99% games here in the green will be pretty much your easy wins and also your automatic wins there in that percentage. So we'll start with that percentage here first, the easy wins here for Virginia. Uh, realistically, you only got one game on here that's a pretty easy win, and that's Richmond here on August 31st. And that's it. The rest of the games are pretty tough here for Virginia. I do see Virginia being a big favorite here in this only game. Maybe Richmond does give the, you know Virginia a scare a little bit there, but I think Virginia is actually going to be a big favorite in this one. I don't really see Richmond probably pulling off an upset. And when it comes to these uh, green games, they're not guaranteed wins, but we count these as easy wins and also automatic wins here in our projections. So I think Virginia will be a big favorite in this one by, you know, like 20 plus points. And then I got one game on here where I think Virginia is going to be favored by double digits. And that's going to be the game on the road here at Coastal Carolina. I think Virginia, even though playing on the road at Coastal Carolina, will be double-digit favorites. Uh, you know, you probably can make an argument that this game should be in the green, but no, it's going to be a tough game here for Virginia. Coastal Carolina is not that bad of a team, and plus the fact that it's on the road, that really is enough to put this one in the blue. But still, either way, I think Virginia is definitely the more talented roster, as they should be, and I think they'll be favored by 10 to 14 points, somewhere in that range. And that's also counted as a win. We count the green games and, you know, blue games as wins, so. So uh, it's not like they're going to lose this game, but it would definitely not really shock me if they lose one of these uh, two games here in the green and uh, blue and everything. But still, either way, Virginia will be favorites in both of these games. The green game, they'll be favored by more than three touchdowns. And then the other game, they'll be favored by 10 to 14 points, also known as a couple touchdowns and also by double digits. And then, of course, the rest of the games on here, you cannot favor Virginia in any of these games. So let's skip over to the games where I think Virginia will be underdogs in. In. I do have a couple games on here in the red that are pretty much going to count as automatic losses, and those two games are going to be Clemson and Notre Dame here both on the road. I don't really see Virginia having a realistic chance in both of these games. Uh, they're really tough road game environments. Clemson, obviously, in Death Valley, one of the toughest places to play in the ACC, of course. And then Notre Dame here on the road. That's going to be a very tough road game there in the non-conference, so no chance I see Virginia winning any of these games here on the road. And I know Clemson's had some downfall years these last uh, like three years now but it's still not going to be enough either way for Virginia to compete in that game and then Notre Dame, they have not looked the same either, but I think Notre Dame is definitely the more talented team, and obviously Clemson and Notre Dame are considered to be top 25 teams this year, so those are definitely automatic losses there for Virginia, and then I got two games on here where I think Virginia will be a double-digit underdog, and those two games are going to be Louisville and North Carolina. I think they'll be double-digit favorites in both of these home games against the Cardinals and Tar Heels. Now, I know Virginia beat North Carolina last year. You could probably make an army that game should probably be in the yellow and it should be in the yellow but I'm going to stick with it here and put it in the orange based off of where these teams were from last year and I know Virginia gave Louisville a scare last year as well but it wasn't enough to get the win and I think Louisville was definitely a better team than Virginia last year so I do expect Louisville to be pretty good again this year and both of those teams you know North Carolina might not be the same as last year and maybe not this year but I think North Carolina will definitely be a game where Virginia will be double digit underdogs but you really don't want to sleep on that game that probably could be a game that could be switched to a 50-50 game and also uh, maybe to a yellow game by the time we get into our predictions in the month of May. So don't sleep on that one if you're, an, if, if you're a Virginia fan just yet. But those two games, I think Virginia will be double-digit underdogs. And then that really, really leaves the rest of the games on here. There's not really any other games on here where I can put Virginia as a clear underdog. I got six 50-50 games on here for the Cavaliers, Wake Forest, Maryland, Boston College, Pittsburgh, and SMU and Virginia Tech. These are all 50-50 games in my opinion. Uh, so I got five games here in the ACC and then one game, of course, in the non-conference with Maryland. The reason why that Maryland game ended up being a 50-50 game is because Virginia is playing at home this year. If it was on the road at Maryland, it would definitely be in the game in the yellow. And then same thing with Boston College and maybe SMU. Uh, both of those uh, teams, they're playing them at home, so that's the reason why both of those games are in the 50-50 category. Now, Virginia Tech is obviously a rival game. You never know what can happen. Uh, that's the reason why that one stays in the white. And then Pittsburgh and Wake Forest were not really good teams last year. And I think those are definitely pretty even matchups here between both of those teams. So those are my 50-50 games here for Virginia for 2024. Let's now get a projected record here for Virginia for the upcoming season. Again, this is not my official prediction. This 
this is simply a projection based on how tough the schedule is. So we count that one green game as an automatic win, then you count that one blue game as a win as well, and then you count those two games in the red as automatic losses, and then you average out those two games in the orange at 20%. And then you average out all six of these 50-50 games here at 50%. And the overall projected record for Virginia for 2024 comes out to be 5-7. and seven. So a pretty good projection here for Virginia. A pretty decent projection, I should say. It's not enough to make it to a bowl game, obviously. But if you split those 50-50 games, let's say they win like three out of the six games here in the 50-50 range. Uh, you obviously count the green and blue games as automatic wins. And then you pretty much split those 50-50 games. Say they win three of them. That's going to give you five five wins there for Virginia. So that's how the projection came out to be five and seven here for Virginia on this schedule. So I think this is a pretty fair projection. It's not enough to make it to a bowl game. It would really shock me if Virginia did make it to a bowl game this year in 2024 based on how tough this schedule is. But I think worst case scenario it definitely has to be four and eight or maybe they can go three and nine again. But I think Virginia's projection as of right now is five and seven for 2024. So give me your thoughts on this Virginia team down in the comments below. What do you think their projected record is for 2024? Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned here for more sports content videos on my Lucas Ross Sports Channel.